Hello, thank you for giving us this opportunity to virtually give you our tour of the Mobile Newt testbed at this open door forum. Mobile Newt is an enclosed uh, trailer uh, with several nano-based water treatment technology uh, mounted uh, inside this uh, trailer. I'm Shano Sinha along with Professor Paul Westerhoff. We would like to provide you a virtual tour of the Mobile Newt testbed. Before we begin with the a virtual tour of the mobile Nuit testbed. We will have a brief video from Professor Paul Westerhoff to introduce you to Nuit. Next, I will introduce you to mobile Nuit testbed and the type of research we do at this facility. And finally, I will provide you a short virtual tour of the mobile Nuit testbed. Hi, my name is Dr. Paul Westerhoff, and I'm a professor of environmental engineering in the School of Sustainable Engineering in the Built Environment here at Arizona State University. And Deputy Director of our center that you're going to hear about today that's funded by the National Science Foundation. It's an engineering research center called NEWT, or Nanotechnology Enabled Water Treatment. So within NEWT, which is an interdisciplinary partnership uh, with four universities across the country, so Arizona State University, Yale University, Rice University in Houston, and University of Texas El Paso, the overall vision of NEWT is to increase access to clean water anywhere, anytime. So this is anywhere from in your kitchen and in your house to small and underrepresented communities across the United States or globally for providing clean drinking water, but also for industry. This is industry that relies upon clean water for manufacturing and jobs like beverage manufacturing or semiconductor manufacturing need really high quality water as well as companies that produce energy, like oil and gas companies, and other companies that generate wastewater that need to be uh, cleaned before discharge to the environment. We hope this brief presentation from Professor Paul Westerhoff was very helpful in understanding what is NUIT and the type of research we do among the four different universities. Most of the research we work on happens in our, in our lab scale, and some of the technology that uh, from this lab scales are scaled up into the testbed level. So the main objective of Mobile Nuit is to utilize this facility for long-term new technology assessment. And this slide shows you in a nutshell what is uh, Mobile Nuit. It's a, a 14 feet long, 7 feet wide enclosed trailer and is deployable uh, to field or the test site. It is installed with various conventional as well as nano-based water treatment modules. It is also equipped with online water quality sensors for 24-7 and remote monitoring. Our team also works directly with Nuit member sometime at pilot scale studies. We also use this facility for dissemination of knowledge. Uh, this slide shows you as you enter the mobile new test bed, what are the, some of the water treatment modules you're gonna see. You'll be seeing there are like several different water treatment modules that we have built over the years are mounted on the, on the test bed unit. And uh, uh, there are like five units that we already have inside the test bed. These are unit one all the way up to unit five. And there are three additional units that we have uh, built, uh, modules we have built and they'll be soon be placed inside the test bed. Unit one on the top left corner is a point of use RO unit. It has a cartridge filter, carbon block filter with a followed by an RO membrane. Unit two is a three pack bed columns. This pack bed column allows us to compare conventional media such as GACI and exchange with other type of media, nano impurity media uh, uh, for side by side comparison. Unit three is an electrocatalytic uh, system uh, where electrocatalytic you could also destruct some of the uh, compound of the water. We're also building our own electrode uh, for this module. Unit four is a photocatalytic reactor that we have built where some of the uh, some catalysts such as titanium dioxide, boron nitrate could be utilized under the UV radiation to destruct some of the compound out of the water. Unit five is a capacitive deionization system is from Voltia and uh, where uh, it uses electrosorption uh, process to separate ions and charged species uh, for brackish water desalination. Uh, unit 6 is a nano bubble generator and uh, uh, we are also looking into this uh, uh, modules uh, for uh, benefiting water treatment. Unit 7 is a solar disinfection unit uh, which is something that we is a part of a new SID uh, project and uh, where we are using a solar disinfection window uh, with uh, which are coated with uh, some type of nanomaterials uh, where the solar energy could be utilized to sterilize the water for and this is primarily used for humanitarian food. Unit 8 is a fiber optics module that we have built where we are using fiber optics for water treatment where UV LED light could be used with this fiber optics to carry the uh, carry the UV disinfection and places where the traditional uh, tubular 
UV light cannot uh, be utilized. Uh, next, we would have a, a, a small video to discuss and to show some of this uh, module inside our test bed. Hello, hi, I'm Shanua Sinha. I'm an assistant research uh, professor at CB and I'm also part of the new test bed team. And we're standing in front of ICB4 and uh, inside uh, this building, uh, 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 behind this overhead door, we have uh, a test bed trailer. We call this test bed trailer a mobile nuit, and uh, I would like to show you how, how the mobile nuit looks like and uh, what are the different type of technology that we have inside. So please come and join us. Uh, we'll walk inside this building. Uh, this is our uh, highway area and you could see this is a custom made uh, trailer and uh, uh, it is uh, length wide, it's like a 14 feet long and 7 feet wide and uh, we have more than close to 7 feet clear inside this test set and this is where some of those technology uh, just I mentioned uh, are scaled up into modular treatment uh, units and I'm gonna like to show you what we have here. So as you come inside this test bed, you could see uh, you know, we have several modules and starting from our reverse osmosis uh, uh, unit one, we have a peg bed columns, we have an electrocatalytic reactor, we have a photocatalytic reactor and behind Jiffy, there is also a capacitive deionization unit. So all of this, uh, all of this becomes part of students' uh, thesis projects. Uh, for example, what Anna has talked about upstairs that we, you have membrane. Uh, we want to minimize bifolding, and uh, she was doing some silver nanoparticle coating into a in a lab scale, uh, in a small scale. But here we have an actual membrane in a module behind this uh, behind this uh, three cartridge filters behind the uh, filter uh, behind this, and uh, where those membrane has been coated with a silver nanoparticle. And uh, so we would have two system uh, operating side by side. One could be without any type of coating. The other one is coated with a silver nanoparticle and we could take it to the test site and we could evaluate without, because of this coating whether any of the membrane performance is sacrificed or not. You know. So we have done extensive study uh, on, on this test bed and uh, one of the students uh, did his masters based on that one. And overall we found out uh, with this silver nanoparticle coating, the membrane performance, the flux rate doesn't go down. Uh, the, cap uh, the pack bed is another type of a column and uh, here we could have different types of media that could be evaluated. And we could also have a very conventional media like a granular tubular carbon, which we could impregnate with some nanoparticle. And uh, so some of the targeted contaminant could be removed. Uh, and we have then electrocatalytic reactor, photocatalytic reactor. So today, due to the time constraint, I'm gonna talk about each and every individual units. But uh, uh, JP standing right here, uh, she's doing her master's. And uh, she's working on this photocatalytic reactor that we have built. And uh, I would ask Jeffy to talk about uh, what she's working on and uh, uh, basically discuss, discuss uh, it. Hi, yeah. I'm Jeffy from ASU. I'm a master student working in Mobile Newt. Uh, what we are working on is this upflow photo reactor. This is a two liter reactor, and there is a lamp in the center of it, as well as some sands coated with titanium dioxide at the bottom. Uh, when the water goes into the reactor, the sand will fluidize and titanium dioxide can create some powerful oxidants like uh, hydroxy radicals. Uh, they can uh, react with some organic contaminants to remove them. Uh, there is a free stream uh, containing with uh, methylene orange uh, through the pipe go into the reactor. And what we are doing now is taking samples and assess the degradation of methylene orange with this reactor. Uh, uh, this is our last slide of, of the virtual tour. Just to recap that the mobile new testbed uh, is utilized uh, to demonstrate some of the technology that we are developing from our lab scale and at testbed level. We are also utilizing this facility to outreach and also dissemination of knowledge of using nanotechnology in water treatment. We are also working with uh, our uh, three other university partner to develop this technology. We also work with our industry partner so overall, our intention is to provide clean drinking water for everyone, everywhere, by utilizing nano-based technology.